All right, welcome back. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the 3D viewer. So go ahead and click Windows, 3D view. It's going to go ahead and load. Perfect. Now, if you have a mouse wheel, you can use that to go back and forth to zoom in and out of your light fixtures inside the 3D viewer. If you left click on your mouse, you can orbit around your fixtures like so. Mouse wheel, zoom in, orbit around. Next, if you hold down your shift key while hitting that left mouse button, you can go along the X and Y axis. So to orbit, you can zoom in, orbit around, and use that shift key to move. So this is going to come in and play a big factor once we start editing our fixtures and moving everything around and how we're going to design our stage. Beautiful. All right, now we can see the lighting fixtures are here. When you import them in the fixture bank, they just automatically drop into the top part of the, the 3D viewer. And so we're going to move these once we start editing. Next, go ahead and right click, and you're going to see a menu. First, we're going to work on stage setting to adjust our room. As you can see, you can adjust the width, height, and depth. The units are meters or feet, and you can adjust the brightness. So let's do that now. I'm going to zoom out here with the mouse wheel and see our room. OK, cool. All right, let's work in feet instead of meters. And as you can see, the width of the room is 65 feet. Your height is 32 feet. Your depth is 65. Well, so let's go ahead and make the height, say, 50 feet. As you can see, it got taller. And let's make it 80 feet. And it gets wider. Perfect. And let's drop the depth to 55 feet. So depending on the room size, you can adjust accordingly. Next is the brightness. You can go all the way up to make it really bright, see your fixtures, or you can go all the way down to darken it up. I like to keep it about, about here. Once I'm starting to edit, I can maybe drop it down to a little bit darker and see the lights better. Perfect. Next. Let's look at the walls. You can adjust the textures for the ground, front wall, back wall, left wall, right wall, and roof. So let's go ahead and do that now. The ground is currently unchecked, so let's go ahead and check that. And now you can see there's a ground that appears. We can add a texture to it by simply doing a drop down menu. So let's add a brick. That's cool. Or sand, stone, wood. You can also bring in your own custom texture. Let's do, that's fun, let's do start ski. Next, you can adjust the front wall or back wall. Let's do the back wall, and let's say it's brick, metal, wood, stone. I'm going to say, let's just turn it off, just to keep it dark. So as you can see, you can adjust the textures on all sides of your room, even the roof, even the floor, um, so you can do that. So that is stage settings. Next video, we'll cover object settings. See you soon.